guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're hearing any background noise, it's because Evan is cooking French toast because men belong in the kitchen. That was a joke. But yeah, I haven't really started this video. Basically, Evan and I are spending the long weekend at his grandparents' trailer. Today is Saturday, May 22nd. We left last night after work and oh my god, I don't even know how to summarize the mess Thursday and Friday was Thursday a 20 pound steel box fell in my foot and I had to go get x-rays I'm still waiting to hear back if it's fractured or not so that was fun Friday was my first day in the office and the day we wanted to come up to the trailer so we literally didn't leave our hometown till like six o'clock and it was dark when we got here long story short we're here now we're staying for three nights we already slept one night, so two more nights. And not even gonna lie to you guys, another reason I really wanted to come up this weekend is one, we've been in lockdown forever and haven't done a trip or a getaway since last September, I think. And my screen time on my phone is so embarrassing. Like, like I have just been spending way too much time on social media, on Instagram and TikTok. My mental health has honestly just been suffering just from the repetitiveness of being stuck at home, working from home, doing school from home. I'm working full time. I'm taking summer classes. I do my YouTube channel, all my other social media platforms, and I run my small business. It's just been a lot. And the great thing about being up here at Evan's grandparents trailer is that there's no cell service and there's no Wi-Fi. Basically I'm gonna be spending 72 hours approximately without my phone. Like I mean I'm gonna have my phone to take pictures because it's me we're talking about but like no service no Wi-Fi I'm not gonna be using any social media and I got cut off Friday night. Stay tuned to find out if this three night getaway will help me. Okay, well, time for breakfast. Also, I wanted to film that intro outside, but it's kind of spitting right now. Oh my god, and there's my chef cooking me breakfast. Fun fact, I actually brought coffee this time because last time I didn't bring coffee and I was literally dying. I could go a whole week without my phone, but I cannot go a week without coffee. Hey, vanilla almond milk and my Starbucks cup. Okay guys, whoa, whoa. Say hi, Evan. Hi. <laughs> Basically, excuse me. Basically, this is my birthday present from my parents. So, mother and father, if you're watching this, thank you. They gave it to me early so I could bring it on this little trip. The paddleboard. Yeah, I really wanted a paddleboard because I saw this really cute picture on Instagram of someone on a paddleboard with their dog. And by the way, my dog's not here with us because it's kind of really buggy right now and I'm not trying to have him get eaten alive. But yeah, I got a paddleboard for my birthday. I'm turning 21 on Tuesday and literally for my 21st birthday, I asked for a flotation device. So I'm gonna bring this to the lake with me whenever we go on trips. It's like one of the inflatable foldable ones. So it's super transportable and, and like it even comes with this like backpack. And my parents actually bought two, one for me, one for my sister. So yeah, you can literally pack it up and then wear it as a backpack. Isn't that cool? We're gonna pump it inside and then just carry it out. Cause it's pretty buggy right now, but I don't think it'll be buggy out on the water cause it's really windy. So it comes with this safety thing. So you can put like, okay, I don't actually know what this is. It comes with a phone water bag thing when you have your phone out on the water. This is the ankle thingy. Fins! And all of this apparently can fit in the backpack. So, yeah. Fins. Here is the paddle. And then we gotta roll out the board. Oh my goodness! I have been wanting to go on a paddle board literally my whole life. And I've never been on one. So, watch me not even like it. This is a yeah. As you can see, Evan is so helpful. There you go. Ooh, look how good it is. With your feet. Will this fit here? 
Oh, it kind of, wow, it literally fits almost perfect. This will flap out, but here's what it looks like on the ground. But the whole thing is pumped up now, and we put the fins in. I think we're going to make lunch and then take her out for spin. Well, you better figure it out. Just don't get stuck on the shore there. to jump in and get it because basically you can like adjust the height here but this lock isn't working so the pole literally still slides in and out so that's probably not a good thing i think you can use like a screwdriver to tighten it we just don't have one here's here's me and there's evans there somewhere kind of turning into a mess because the bug situation is literally so bad i've literally only not been eaten by mosquitoes when we're out here on the water so I beat Evan in goldfish because it's the only game I know how to play. I'm going to count how many pairs. How many pairs do you have? That's one, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, bit. <laughs> Are you rude? I'm just trying to eat brownies without me. Um, we both washed our hair in the lake. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys earlier, I stepped on a nail. I stepped oh. on a bear trap because Evan didn't put it away properly. And we were taking the paddle board out and I stepped on it. Um, it didn't go that deep, thank God. It was more just like a little, a little mini stab. So I was bleeding, but I think the bleeding stopped when I went in the water. So that was one foot this week. I dropped a 20 pound steel box. Other foot, I stepped on a nail. I don't have any more feet left to give. <laughs> It is now Sunday and I am so tired. The bug situation last night was a mess and a half. Literally every two hours I would hear a mosquito buzzing in my ear and I'd have to kill it. Um, so didn't really sleep as good the second night. First night I slept really good. I was out cold. Evan is inside cooking breakfast sandwiches with an English muffin, egg, cheese, ham, and butter. Is that all you put in a breakfast sandwich? I kind of forget. Is my mental health any better? Honestly, not yet but i'm waiting for something magical to happen you know well we'll cure my depression probably not but we're trying right we're taking steps forward maybe sitting here and staring at the water and waves will spark something in me therapeutic to swing here and stare at things um i kind of want to talk to you guys for a second um i get a lot of comments sometimes that actually make me really happy that people like when i talk about my anxiety but like sometimes anxiety can get so bad that i don't want to talk about it instead i choose to act like 
I don't have it, you know? And I guess that's kind of where it puts me in a very bad mental state when I kind of just ignore it and don't do anything about it. Even though I love social media and I love making videos, I love making TikTok, I love posting on Instagram. I just feel like there's so much more valuable content my brain could be absorbing, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just scroll through TikTok for hours and hours when I wake up before bed in the middle of the day. I don't know, I feel like there's just way more valuable things my brain could be absorbing. I think taking a break is very good. Definitely when I get back, I'm really, really gonna focus on my screen time and actually do something about it. I just feel like there's way more valuable content and things about life to learn that's like more than your phone, you know? I also miss my dog. I miss my dog a lot. He actually helped me calm my anxiety a lot and I didn't bring him because the bugs were really bad. So I miss him a lot, but I'll see him in two days. So I don't know if you guys could even hear a single word I was saying while swinging on this swing. Yeah, if you're going through anything too, just know you're not alone. Let's go eat a yummy breakfast and make my tummy happy. <laughs> You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head You can find beauty 